Hey everybody, Mike here at Amish Tutorials and welcome back to a new rigging video. All right, well guys, um, I recently did two videos on rigging. In part one, we talked about uh, parenting or the child-parent relationship between two objects. In part two, we continued by explaining the use of joints. Okay, now in this video, we're going to get into the use of the iKey handle tool, okay, or the iKey rig or uh, inverse kinematic rig uh, as opposed to the forward kinematics rig. And I'll explain all that. Now, before we do that, we need to have something to rig, okay, so I'm just going to quickly go to a file, a new scene, and we're going to set up a very, very basic arm. Just going to create a sphere. Hit Control A for my attribute editor. Make sure that its translate values are all set to zero. I'm going to create a polygon cylinder. Hit E, flip that over, minus 90, like that. I'm going to set that to zero as well. I'll hit W, pull that out until it's kind of touching that sphere right there. Right click the vertex, take these and hit R and pull that in. And we'll call that our upper arm, okay? I'm gonna right click in object mode, select these two, and in my polygon menu, go to mesh and combine. And then I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate that. W to move that over. And R to kind of scale it down a little bit, like so. I'll right click, go to vertex, just make the lower arm a little bit longer. And now we just need to create a wrist and a hand, okay? So I'll create a small sphere, set that to zero, there we go. Pull that out, and we'll create a little cube that will act as our hand, okay? Again, set that to zero on the translate values and pull that out. All right, now these two are combined, okay? So that's one piece. These two are combined and this one and this one, we're gonna go to mesh and combine. All right, so we got all that. Now, what we did last time is we created joints for this, okay? So we're gonna go to our top view. We're gonna go to animation skeleton join tool hit the option box and just reset that so we're all at the same page here and we're going to center click our shoulder joint we're going to center click our elbow joint and center click our wrist joint and hit enter okay if you now hit four for wireframe mode you can see that joints have been created inside our arm okay and now if I want to manipulate this by, for example, selecting the wrist joint and I move it, you can see that's moving the joints, but not my arm, okay? So it controls you to go back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna parent these. So I'm gonna select my hand first. I want that, that's the child. I want that to parent to the joint inside. So I select the hand and wrist, shift select the joint inside, and hit P to parent. We're doing the same here. Click on the on the lower arm, shift click on the joint, and P to parent. Up here, select the upper arm, shift select the joint, and P to parent. Just make sure if that worked. We'll have to do that again. This time it worked better. Okay, let's check that. Okay, so now if I select my wrist and I only want to move my hand and nothing else, and I hit E, I can rotate my hand fine. Control Z to control, control Z to go back. If I select my elbow, everything uh, beneath my elbow should move, and it does. So that's nice. And if I select my upper arm, and it's still not parented correctly. Not quite sure why. That's better, okay. 
you can see that the entire arm is moving. All right, so that's pretty much where we left off last time. Now, this is an example of forward kinematics. What this pretty much means is that if I now want to manipulate my elbow, I have to select my elbow to, for example, rotate. Okay, so we're going to set up an I key um, handle. So we're going to switch to our top view and we're going to go to animation, skeleton, I key handle tool, and hit the option box. We're going to reset it so we're all on the same page. And the only thing that we're going to change is instead of single chain solver, we're going to go to rotate plane solver. Okay, and hit enter. I'll just get rid of that. Okay. Not quite sure what's going on there. Fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to select the center of our shoulder and we're going to select the center of our wrist. Okay, so now if you go to our perspective view and hit enter, we should have a handle. It's not showing for some reason. Looks like uh, Maya's a bit buggy today, so we'll just uh, repeat that. One there and one there. That looks better. Okay. So what you can see right now is there's a green line sticking out of my wrist. That's my key handle. Okay. Now, why is it called inverse kinematics? Now, if I move my wrist towards my body without moving my shoulder, um, the elbow will have to do something, right? So I'm going to hit W to move this. And as I do, you can see that I can now freeform pretty much move my elbow. Okay. So I can move it out, up, and so forth, which is much more in line with how an arm would normally work, right? So this is perfect when you want to have um, an Ike handle, let's say, from your hip joint to your ankle joint or from your shoulder joint to your wrist. Now, uh, although there's a lot more possible with this, this is the basics and uh, hopefully it was helpful. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to help if I can. And that said, thank you for watching. Bye.